What's up guys going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rap Beats. How's everybody doing? Today we're gonna bleh. What's up guys going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rap Beats. How's everybody doing? Today we have a screen printing job. Screen printing job. It's gonna be a two-color job, front and back. And I think we have a handful of sleeves. So if you guys are interested in doing that, stay tuned. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so again, we're doing the uh, the front, the back. Well, the front's just a left chest, but it's two colors. The back, two colors, and then we have a handful of sleeves, which is one color, okay? Um, if you guys saw my live earlier today, you guys saw that I was setting up projects here. Um, yeah, so this is the back. That's part of it. That's the other part. Um, there's one over there for the uh, left chest, and this is the sleeve. This is the sleeve. Now, I set this sleeve up for um, my dual palette um, sleeve. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna work, to be honest with you. I've never done it. Um, but yeah, so here's the sleeve palette. Boyaka. Boyaka. Okay, so let's get, yeah. All right, as far as the garments, we are using these these are the beefy tea from Hanes. these are actually kind of nice pretty thick and heavy i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it it feels very nice and premium uh it's not super soft but it is soft and these are the tees and that's the um the long sleeve this is for another project here take that aside but all right let's get going let me just double check on the colors that we're going to be using and uh yeah we can get printing all right all right, so I was just checking to make sure um, that we don't have any pinholes. But like I said, um, I've already registered it. Hopefully stay registered. Usually it is with this Anatole. Um, earlier today, if you guys caught my vibe, my vibe, my live, uh, you guys saw me registering all these jobs here. But uh, it looks good to me. It looks pretty registered. So we're going to do a test print. Let's do a test print. Let's do it. I hear a fly. Do you guys hear that fly? Turn that thing on. Sure. Sorry guys, might be a little loud, but um. right there um, again two passes on both I think we're gonna go with two passes on the blue because when we did the first class first pass it was a little muted um, but I like this I, we didn't want the blue to be super super bright um, but yeah it looks good what do you guys think all right we're gonna go roll with it we're going to uh, turn on the conveyor 
I set my conveyor dryer at 720 degrees at 35 seconds. So what that means from when it enters the chamber, right about here, it's roughly around three, I think it was like 345 degrees. So from here to there, from actually when it gets to the middle, uh, you get a good, what, 20 seconds, I think. So it's good enough. It's good enough, it'll cure it, definitely will cure it, okay? Running out of space here, guys. Running out of space. Is that? Can I justify that by getting a um, commercial bill? Running out of space. Good. All right. Let's see. I saw the red lights are on. All three of them. Heating. Okay. 720. Not yet. So what it does? This three lights will start blinking, notifying that hey, we're at the temperature you wanted to go or set. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. So give that another couple of minutes it's usually pretty fast pretty fast all right I forgot to turn the camera on <laughs> I was checking the temp it went it was a little too hot uh, so what I just kept it the same temp I just sped up the, um, the belt to 30 seconds because uh, from I think it got to like 310 over here when it got into the chamber 310 it went to about 320 here and coming out of the chamber was very close to like 400 it was like right here coming exiting out within like a second or two so i sped it up a little bit because i want the temp to be from the center out to be roughly around the 340 range maybe 350 so yeah we're gonna try it again we're gonna try it again let's cool it down a little bit All right, it's going in the chamber. Let's get our temp gun. Okay, it's in the chamber. It's in the middle of the chamber right now. It's climbing, it's climbing, it's climbing. 320. Yeah, so that's where I want my shirts to be coming out towards the tail end around 340. Uh, that just assures me that the ink all the way through is cured, okay? Because what you're shooting, you're shooting at the top of the uh, the, the, the ink. It, you won't know um, what the curing is on the bottom of the ink, but going around 340-ish, it assures me that it's cured all the way. Okay, so let's get going. Alright guys, we are done with the back. Let me show you guys real quick. I don't know where I was going. There's the back. We just finished the uh, the long sleeve, which is still in the bin here. Uh, I've already flipped the screen over to do the left chest. Uh, sorry, I forgot to show you guys. 
but there's the left chest. I only did one pass to make sure that uh, it lines up. It looks good. That's our left chest print. Bada bing, bada boom. Two color, left chest. So let's get this thing going because we still got to do the sleeves. Matt's there. What's up, Matt? All right, so we are done with the left chest. Here we go, the left chest. All we gotta do now is doing the sleeves. All right, I have to take the shotgun mic because the uh, battery was giving me an issue. But this is what we got going on. These are the left chest. Uh, I got these two here that's by itself because I noticed there's some discoloration on the, on the, um, on the garment, I don't know if you guys can see that. See, it's a little bit right here. I thought it was um, like a burning, but it's not because it's only on two of them. And it doesn't match up like any of my palettes. As far as the square, it would have been like here. You know what I mean? But that one's like this and the other and the other one's like right over here going this way. So, I don't know. I told the customer already. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'm done with these. Now we just gotta do the uh, the sleeves on this one. Okay, let's go put that palette, that dual palette, on here, and see how it goes. Let me just double check the uh, design here, which is down. So that's the design. All right. Oh, now I'm ready. I mean, I guess we can use the laser to get the center mark, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to move my lasers because I like them where they're at right now. So we're gonna use the T square to get the center on both sides, and we should be lined up. So the, the artwork starts like right here, basically where the knob is. You want to go three fingers, four fingers. So how I have this set up, I want this seam, you guys can see the, the, the seam of the, uh, the sleeve, to be right where the palette is up here. Okay. See if I do that, that's a good indication that it's going to be where I would want it to go. Gotta make sure this thing is centered and even. So yeah, you say the shirt's gonna be dragging. Yes, it will be. Um, all I like to do is fold the shirt up that way. So it won't be dragging on the floor. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other one. And we'll slide this all the way up.
There it is. Again, get the sleeve here, tuck it in on top. So it won't be dragging on the floor. There it is. Make sure that thing's flat all the way. We're good to go. All right, we are done. We are done. Let's go check out what we did. Uh, so again, this is the front, left chest, and then we did the back, which is, wham. This came out really, really nice. I like how the back looks. Uh, for this one, a long sleeve. We did the sleeves on the side with the dual palette um, sleeve thing. I forgot what it's called now. Came out super cool. Right where I want it, but. All right, that's it guys. That's it for this project. Hope you guys enjoyed it uh, like I did. It was just uh, a lot of moving pieces, but we got it done. We got it done. Uh, well, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, screen printing job. Uh, it was fun. It took a long time because, you know, we're doing two colors front and back and then the sleeve, but it turned out really, really great. So uh, I'm very proud of it. I like how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't done so, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep grinding. Peace out.